What do you think of the new Institute of Medicine recommendations for vitamin B? I think they are deficient. Why? The panel, in its judgment, concluded that it did not know whether there might be non-skeletal benefits or at what blood level they could be insured. Thus, it was incorrect for them to say that they know that people are getting enough. The most the panel could logically have said was here's what you need for bone, most people get that much, we do not know whether more would count for possible non-skeletal benefits. That, at least, would have been an honest communication of the state of the issue as the panel apparently understands it. Do you think they got anything else wrong? The statement that skeletal health can be assured at serum 25 vitamin D levels of 20 nanograms per milliliter is simply incorrect. There are studies that indicate that a serum level of 30 nanograms per milliliter is closer to the bottom end of the acceptable range for skeletal health. Anything else concerns you about what they said? Doctors' experience with vitamin D supplementation demonstrates that 600 international units per day would not be enough to produce a value of even 10 nanogram per milliliter if it is the only source of vitamin D. Furthermore, this dose produces a barely perceptible change in individuals who are overweight or obese of which accounts for better than 50% of the U.S. adult population. Hence the increase from the 1997 levels while welcome, and certainly in the right direction, is simply inconsistent with current professional experience. How much vitamin B is too much? They say it can be risky. Many of the purported risks they cited were inconsistent with the experience of population subgroups that routinely have serum levels in the range mentioned by the panel as possibly risky. I thought they were trying to clear things up. Looks like they were not very clear themselves about the science. They could have said we do not know whether taking more vitamin D than we are currently recommending will help you, but it could, and we can assure you that supplemental intakes up to at least 4,000 international units per day are safe. Such a statement would provide guidance that both the public and governmental agencies could find useful. Instead, we now have only a confused public. For now. My recommendation to the American public is that the Institute of Medicine report should be taken with a grain of salt and other nutrient the Institute of Medicine finds risky.